Rachel Reeves, UK's first female chancellor, has just six weeks to devise a plan to address the country's struggling public services and improve the economic outlook. All of this while managing a $29 billion fiscal gap. Since taking office, Reeves has made tough decisions. This includes cuts to winter fuel benefits for pensioners and, key, and suspending key infrastructure projects. These measures were meant to balance fiscal responsibility with the urgent need for public investment. As the national debt reaches 100% of GDP for the first time since 1961, Reeves emphasized the need for tough choices to stabilize public finances. The Resolution Foundation estimates that an additional $25 billion annually is required to repair the UK's public services. However, Reeves has ruled out major tax increases limiting her options for funding these priorities. Her upcoming budget on October 30th will be crucial in determining how Labour is perceived and whether it can restore public confidence. Reeves' economic strategy has sparked internal debate within the Labour Party about prioritising stability versus investment in public services and climate initiatives, with proposed cuts to significant projects, including the Green Prosperity Plan, Questions arise about the long-term impact on growth. As she prepares for her conference speech, the pressure is mounting for Reeves to present a vision that balances fiscal rigor with the investment needed to foster economic recovery and public trust. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.